Hi, I'm Bob. Economists often try to find the cause of that of an explanatory variable on the outcome variable. A causal relationship could be established in a randomized controlled experiment. However, in economics and many other areas of social science, randomized experiments are not always feasible. The instrumental variable method tries to find the causal relationship by solving the endogeneity problem. The endogeneity problem often happens, and it leads to inconsistent estimates using OLS. In the model, if the explanatory variable of interest is correlated with the error term, then the OLS estimate of beta 1 is biased. The endogeneity could be caused by omitted variables, measurement errors, or reverse causality. Let me show you the omitted variable bias. Suppose the true relationship is that wage is related to schooling and ability. However, the latent ability is unobservable. We don't have data on it, and the model we estimate is to regress wage on schooling only. The unobserved ability is omitted from the model. Now the error term contains the ability variable. In the following, I prove that the OLS estimate is biased. If beta 2 is not zero and covariance between schooling and ability is not zero. In other words, if ability affects wage and ability is correlated with schooling, then the OLS estimate is biased. If the ability is positively related to both schooling and wage, then the OLS estimate of beta 1 is over biased. The effect of schooling on the wage is overestimated. The method of instrumental variables can be used to solve the problem of endogeneity of one or more explanatory variables. If we can find a variable z that satisfies two conditions, the relevance condition, which means the covariance between x1 and z is not equal to zero, and the exclusion restriction, which means the covariance between z and nu is equal to zero, then we can obtain a consistent estimate of beta 1. The instrumental variable does not affect the outcome variable directly or indirectly through any channel other than through the endogenous variable. The idea of the two-stage least squares estimation method is that in the first stage, the endogenous variable is projected onto the instrumental variable, and we get the exogenous part of the variation of that endogenous variable. The fitted value is no longer correlated with the error term. In the second stage, we use the exogenous part of variation to replace the original endogenous variable to estimate the causal relationship. In this way, the estimate is consistent. Stata provides the instrumental variable method by the commands IV regress and IV red 2. There are three estimation procedures we can choose the two stage least squares, the limited information maximum likelihood, and the generalized method of moments. We use the option first to report the first stage regression results. In the first stage regression, we see that parents' education is highly correlated with their child's years of schooling. Parent education is not a weak instrument. The IV satisfies the relevance condition. We use the post estimation commands to obtain the diagnostic statistics. 
we type is that first stage. The partial R squared tells us how strong the instrument variable alone can explain the endogenous variable. The F statistic tells us whether the coefficients of the instruments in the first stage are significant. We compare the eigenvalue statistic with the critical values and conclude that the parents' education is not a weak instrument for their children's education. The next post-estimation test is the endogeneity test and we type is that endogenous. It tests whether the child's years of schooling variable is in fact endogenous. The known hypothesis is that it is not endogenous and there's no need to use IVs. We reject the known hypothesis because the statistics are high enough. We conclude that we should use the instrument variable method instead of OLS. The third post-estimation test is the over-identifying restriction test. It is for the case when we have more instrumental variables than the endogenous explanatory variables. In our sample, we use the parents' education dummy variables as instruments, which means there are three instruments and only one endogenous variable. We can perform the over-identifying restriction test. We could not reject the known hypothesis that all the instruments could be exogenous. So our instrumental variables pass all three post-estimation tests. We can also use the command IVRED2 to estimate the model. It provides exactly the same estimates in the first stage and the second stage as the IV regress command. It automatically produces diagnostic statistics, such as the IV significant F test the weak instrument test, the endogenous variable test, and the over-identifying restriction test. They are identical to the post-estimation tests with the command IV regress. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.